Welcome back. Seriously. What a time to be alive. 2021, Rudy. In the happy, raw bear market. Is here to talk about flesh and blood. Whoa! Did you guys see the thumbs down down there? The button just broke. So today is a very special day. Been waiting two months to make this video. And we are here to announce and thank Mark Poole, one of the most legendary magic artists to ever walk the land, um, to start doing flesh and blood artwork. And uh, starting with Tales of Aria, we are going to experience some of the infamous Mark Poole skill set. And I couldn't be more just giggity, thrilled, just honored to have a icon of that caliber of skill set to start doing some flesh and blood and join that kind of artwork team to just make that art. And because I mean, you know, and, and for those of you who aren't familiar with what's going on here, Mark Poole is one of the original artists of Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering. Been doing artwork all the way back to Alpha. Probably, if I had to say, his most famous artwork has got to be probably Ancestral Recall. It has to be probably Ancestral Recall. You know what would be really crazy, though? If, like, the card he was most known for, which was Ancestral Recall from the ABU Alpha days. Like, wouldn't that be crazy if there was, like, a flesh and blood card that drew three cards? And, like, Mark Poole did the artwork for that as, like, a, a just a symbolism thing? Wouldn't that be, like, flipping crazy? Ah, I'm just making stuff up, you know. Anyways, we gotta thank the guy for joining. And uh, I cannot wait to see... The amount of skill and art that he's going to bring to the new set of uh, Flesh and Blood called Tales of Aria. Um, which is actually only uh, September. Oh my goodness. The world was in August already. So we are literally like, what, T-60 days away. And, uh, and I'm sure before then we'll see spoilers and all kinds of new things. But in the meantime, um, there's a second part of this video. And that is, um, for the special launch of Tales, um, Mark has done a very gorgeous piece of artwork. For this beautiful card and I'm going to share the artwork and um, we have commissioned that we're going to have a couple thousand exclusive play mats made with Mark Poole's artwork for the launch and everything for uh, September as an exclusive thank you and awesome item to do so this is something that's been in the works for a very long time and it's just it's really cool when with uh, with Tales of Aria being more of a kind of the uh, yin and yang the opposite of Monarch and having such just, you know, life in living colors and bright colors and very dramatic, you know, nature and just beautiful, which is the opposite of like, you know, Monarchs, you know, angels, demons and death and crazy stuff. And it's very, it, it's a really fun, interesting change of pace to see uh, Flesh and Blood having a lot of beautiful cards with artwork of just nature and bright colors and all kinds of really neat, the wilderness and just it's just, it's a, it's a really cool shift. And, of course, I mean, what better person to have kind of be a part and do something like that than Mark Poole and have him join. So I just want to make an official video. And uh, I know there's a ton of news dropping from the company over the next, starting Monday, and then, like, the following. Where there's tons of news coming of all kinds of things. And I'm going to let the company do their thing and Legend Story Studios and everybody else is involved. But I at least wanted to go ahead and finally got the green light to make this video and share it, and uh, I just think it's such an amazing, I don't know, step in just progression in getting people to just, you know, name recognition and to try the game, and uh, I just think that alone has just significant value in waiting when, you know, just, you know, artwork's a big thing, folks, you know, I know a lot of people say, oh, it doesn't matter, you just want to play the game, it doesn't affect the mechanics of the game, and I don't know, I really, I feel like, like, even, even old Magic or any card game you take, there's, there's no... The art on the card changes the vibe and feel of how the player connects with the card. It changes how you recognize the card. It, it, it has an impact. It's very strange how that works. But it really, it really does have a bigger psychological connection as players to the cards by how it looks and feels and how the artwork is on a card. I've always felt that. And um, it's just a really special time. And as we progress forward and a lot more amazing news hits the market... And the game continues to just kind of slowly spread around the world and people try the game. And like I always say to everyone, try the game. You don't like the game? I respect that. Can't argue with that. But you got to try it. It's a very different thing. It's very balanced. It's very interesting. And 
I just, I can't wait to just see how things continue to progress and to watch the unfolding of everything. So, short video. Just wanted to thank Mark Cool and thank, obviously, Legend Story Studios and everybody else behind the scenes, the hundreds and hundreds of people between distribution, the people around the world, the artists, the, the play testers, the mechanics, the people doing logistics and just everything involved. It's just been, you know, a, a still very honored thing to be a part of it since day one when literally nobody knew what it was. And it's just been, it's been a wild ride. And, and it's still the funny thing about it. And I know I'm biased on it, but I still think that we haven't seen anything yet. You know, it, it's just such, I mean, we're only been doing this. I mean, this game's only existed for, we're about to approach like the two year anniversary. And we, we mean, that is such a short period of time in the grand scheme of anything from the sports card world to the collectible world to the video game boom going on to just even other card games. It's just a couple years is nothing. And it just, my brain can't comprehend where things are going to be in another one, three, five year time horizon. Can you imagine 10 years from now, just in general, I just can't look, go, go back five, 10 years ago from today and, and try to visualize where everything was. And I just can't comprehend moving that forward with technology advancement. It's just unbelievable. So I think the future is going to be really unexpected. So I hope you all enjoyed this short little fun video. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, beautiful piece of artwork and uh, very excited to honor something special like that and have that commissioned on special play mats as an exclusive special thing. And I think it's just going to be a really, really fun ride. I think it's going to be really cool. And uh, that's all I got. Thank you, everybody. There once was a channel that put to sea The man on the channel was named Rudy Investing hard in old cardboard Begin the buyouts now Soon may the downvotes come From Timmy's angry at investors scum Alpha investments will never be done Hold, reserve, let hold Soon may the downvotes come From Timmy's angry at investors scum Alpha investments will never be done Hold, reserve, let hold His patrons lose shirts off their backs The hose down bust is leaving now And you are all aboard Built the bridge he's living under From his hoarded plane chase blunders Still down there slapping chalupas Until they start to burn
Hans and me's angry at investors from how the investments will never be done. The whole reserve is old. Cardboard products fill the stores. Pokemon cards block the bathroom door. His ex girlfriend dumped him and swore he should have gone and sold. Great monster smells free tendies from secondary market equity. Rudy shouts to buy old cards as printers all go. Card is safe, no format stable, his reprint sets destroy your singles. Grandpa Rudy told you so, reserve this to the moon. Soon may the downvotes come from Timmy's angry at investor scum. Alpha investments will never be done, hold reserveless hold. Soon may the downvotes come from Timmy's angry at investor scum. Alpha investments will never be done, hold reserveless hold.